Hi, this is Mark Suiza with Makaha Mangoes, also with the Hawaii Tropical Fruit Growers. Today we're going to talk about when do you pick your mangoes and how do you make sure you get the best quality. And first thing we're going to do is look at our tree and decide if we need to pick these fruit or not pick the fruit. So a couple of things you want to look for. First thing you want to look at, ideally you want to see a little yellow color. Now this is a piri mango. It doesn't have a lot of red, but you want to see this yellow color and that's telling you it's ripe. Don't be fooled by this right red color that you're seeing on the shoulders of the fruit. That is really the sun that is shining. You want to look for the yellow color. In fact, another example, if you come in closer, you'll see where it doesn't get the sun, it's still green, but you notice it doesn't have that red color. So that red color is very deceiving, and it, especially if it's on the shoulder, it's telling you that the fruit is not ripe yet. Don't look for that red color on the shoulder you look for the yellow color on the fruit. So this one is ready to pick. Ideally, you want to pick it when it's got maybe half of it having yellow, no earlier than one fourth of it having yellow. Do not pick when it doesn't have any yellow. It will not ripen properly. The tree ripened fruit is always best. So here we are at a Hayden mango tree and these are not quite ripe yet. Again, do not pay attention to this red. In fact, that's from the sun. If you take a look here, you see the leaf is actually making this difference. That's not an indication of ripeness. You want yellow? This here is ready to pick. It's about one quarter to one third ripe. Yellow at the bottom, the spots are getting more distinct. Here the spots are not as much yet. But best indicator is the yellow that's forming. This is about quarter ripe. Okay to pick. Maybe in a day or so it might be even better. So here we are at an XL mango tree. These are too green. That purple is not an indication of ripeness. You want to see more yellow. You want to see it more round. You can see it's kind of skinny yet. It'll fatten up and it'll get more yellow and red. So this is not ready to pick. Here we are at a Lanzetia mango tree. These mangoes get really, really big. You see this mango, it's, not, it's starting to get a little plump. It's not red yet. This red, again, is not an indication of ripeness. It's from the sun. In fact, if you look at the stem, that stem was actually creating some shade. It's the sun that created that color. It's not ripeness. So now that we walk through the orchard and we see that there are some mangoes to pick, it's time to pick. Now, this is a typical picker that I use. It's a telescoping pole. It can get as high as 24 feet. It's actually a painter's pole. It telescopes and I can stretch it from eight feet to 24 feet. And I clamp on a wire basket picker like this. So I'm seeing a little color on this mango right here. It's got a little yellow on it. And I'm thinking, I'm not gonna pick this today. I'll pick it tomorrow. So uh, this mango, it's about half of it is yellow. I'm gonna pick that. I use the wire basket and I hook it and that's, now what I do is I put it into my wagon and drop it in. I'm starting to get a little taller. I'm going to make my pole a little longer and I'm going to go up and pick. And I don't want to stack my wagon too high. Maybe it's one or two layers of fruit. No higher than that or you'll bruise it. All right, so we finished picking. I'm gonna fill this tub with water, put a splash of Clorox in it to help sanitize it, and go through with the ripe fruit, put the ripe fruit on the drying rack. Those that are not quite ripe yet, we'll talk about later. So I'm gonna go through here and pick the ripest fruit out first. So this is ripe. I'm gonna put it into the bath. Anything that's at least one half ripe is gonna go into the bath. I wanna wash the sap off and any dirt or any bug or any any anything I want to wash off of it. So as I'm going through it I'm looking for damaged fruit so as you can see this has a wound it's going to be rejected so I'll put it in the reject bin here. Yeah. So we're going to wash this off we got some wa some of the sap and some leaves that'll wash off. So as I'm going through this I'm feeling for bruises and putting them into the bath. So you see the yellow color here. Another indication of the fruit being ripe is you notice the stem here is it comes down, it's brown near the fruit. 
that's also an indication of ripeness here with the stem being brown. So I've gone through all of what we picked. I've left whatever's not quite ripe yet in the wagon. I only picked out those that are ripe and ready to be boxed to go to market. So now we're gonna start boxing the fruit. So I go to Costco and get pineapple boxes, banana boxes, any kind of sturdy box. I want a single layer when I go to market. And this will pack 25 pounds of mango. You start and put them stem down. Again, another check on the fruit quality. You're, you're feeling it and you're looking at it. Anything with a bruise or damage is rejected or not going to your primary market. So we wanna check the weight and make sure that we have a net weight of 25 pounds. I have my scale. I wanna zero it with the empty box. And now it's zeroed with the empty box. I'm going to weigh the fruit. And I have 26.6 pounds, so I'm one pound heavy. And now I'm at 25 pounds and 10 ounces. 25 pounds. So now I have to label the mango box. And I have my label that I put on all our boxes. I tell them what variety it is, what's the date, what field did it come from, and what is the net weight. The chill room is set at 60 degrees. Putting it into a refrigerator is too cold for ripe fruit. It's often 35 or 40 degrees inside of a refrigerator. So ideally you use an air conditioner and set it at 60 degrees. It'll hold for several days in this condition. So the mangoes that are not quite ripe yet, I will hold for a couple days in the hopes of them ripening a little more. I hold them indoors where there's, it's screened in at room temperature and let them ripen up. In a couple days, these will ripen. This is Mark Suisa with Makaha Mangoes and Hawaii Tropical Fruit Growers. We, today we talked about picking mangoes. When do we pick it? off the tree when it's ripe and it has a little yellow color and, and more round. We talked about how to pick it and not to stack it too high in the boxes. We talked about washing it and boxing it for market. Those that are not quite ripe yet, we talked about storing it for a couple of days in the hopes that it does ripen. If you want to, you can actually put labels on your fruit to give it even more of a brand to give you more identity on your fruit.